just miracles and I mean causing the main to be whole. That's still the one that just boggles my mind. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. But uh, just a real neat answer to prayer. Um, the video that I did about the attacks, current attacks on the ministry, um, there were two cases, open cases left. Of the guy, I, I, you know, showed his information, things just, 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 you know, showed his information, things just to, to show people how these infiltrators work and everything else. And uh, so, uh, people that try to infiltrate, we're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. Uh, unlike dealing with liberals that don't protect, I will leaving Christians like you know myself and you if you're a friend of the ministry. All right, going to do a video exposing Brian Dellinger's wicked defense of the idolatrous Catholic nativity display. And this is just covering the fact that I find it rather ironic how Brian Dillinger is this you know, huge enemy of Rome. He's you know built his ministry around criticizing Roman Catholicism, and he wants to separate from every practice, every doctrine that smells of Roman Catholicism, except for Christmas, of course. You know, see, he's against, the, he's rightfully against the heathen, you know, polytheistic Trinity because well, it's Roman Catholic. You know, he'll condemn rock music because it all comes from Roman Catholicism. But then when it comes to Christmas, you know, yeah, it comes from Catholicism, but we have liberty to celebrate it. You know, yeah. I wonder if Brian Dillinger really is, you know, as anti-Catholic as he claims he is. Considering the fact that Roman Catholicism, uh, Christmas is one of their biggest high days too. You know, we, don't, we just won't cover that. Uh, the biggest enemy of Rome is defending one of their most holiest high days. So, here is the comment in question of uh, Brian Dillinger. This is in, this is in his video called uh, the comments of his video called uh, answering a comment about um, what's it called? Answering comments on Christmas. And, and the comments on this thing are just hilarious because you look at how they defend Christmas, they'll take like obscure verses out of context, like in Luke chapter 2, or they of course take Romans 14, 5 out of context. But really, when you look at most of the comments, their whole defense of Christmas is all emotionally based. It, it, well, it's like 95% emotionally based. You know, it makes me feel good. I like doing it. I enjoy it. it. You know, my childhood, you know, this, that. Yeah, it's all emotionally based. See, it's not the scriptures, it's not what say the scriptures, it's, well, I like it, I feel like doing it, so therefore I have liberty to do so. Plain and simple. But here's the comment in question, uh, of defending this wicked Catholic nativity idolatry, which is a grave an image, by the way, too, of Jesus Christ. Yeah, sure, it's a baby, but, you know, even as a baby, it's still an image of Jesus Christ. Forbidden in uh, Acts 17, 29, but says in the comments, so someone asked him, I do celebrate Christmas, and asked him about nativity scenes, and Brian Dillinger responds with uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 12, all things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient, and kind of like uh, Christ mass, all things are lawful for me, but I will, not, I will not be brought under the power of any, and he says, he says to her sister, if you have a nativity scene in your home, to remember the birth of Christ, uh, chapter and verse please, uh, he says there is no problem with it unless you are worshipping it. Um, putting a graven image in your home is worship, you know, oh, you're using it to remember the birth of Christ, but you're not worshiping it, you know, kind of just these men, it's funny, the same kind of mental acrobatics that Roman Catholics do, weird, how he even used the kind of Catholic mentality and argumentation when defending his Catholic custom of Christ Mass. So we're going to separate from everything Roman Catholicism except for Christ Mass, of course, that's kind of the exception to the rule, I guess. Yeah, it's a bunch of garbage. Okay, what is the origins of this uh, nativity display? Okay, where does it come from? Well, let's, oh, and by the way too, in the, in the age of the internet, there really is no excuse for ignorance like this, for this kind of widespread ignorance among his followers. Okay, all you gotta do is just punch, go and, go and Google and just punch in nativity scene origins, and this is the first thing that comes up. It says, uh, tradition has it that St. Francis of Sicily created the first Creci in 1223 when he mounted a living nativity scene consisting of a manger, an ox, and a donkey. As part of Christmas Eve, he organized while visiting the mountain town of Grisio. St. Bonaventure wrote that night in his biography of, you know, quotes about the saint there. Hmm. Who is a St. Francis of Sicily? Well, who started this nativity practice? Well, says here on uh, Wikipedia, you punch in St. Francis of Sicily, it says, uh, 
Govan, Govani di Pietro di Barna, if I'm not saying that right, better known as St. Francis as a Sicily, uh, was a mystic Italian Catholic friar. So the nativity scene was started by a Catholic friar. That's the first known you know, records of this nativity display. It's Roman Catholic. So, and, and also in, a, in the same Wikipedia page, a little bit down, it talks about in 1223, he arranged for the first Christmas live nativity scene. It's Roman Catholic practices. It's the graven image of Christ. And we got Brian Dellinger, the big enemy of Rome, defending this Catholic practice. This, this, or, it's this, pra this practice has origins in Catholicism. See, he'll go against the Trinity because it has origins in Catholicism, but he's okay with nativity, even though that also has origins in Catholic idolatry. Hmm. Could Brian Dillinger be a closeted papist? I don't know. Because, again, Christmas is one of the biggest high days of Roman, Roman Catholicism, and Brian Dillinger is not ignorant of this. Why? Because he himself has openly said that, that he's had former Catholics come to him and tell him that, you know, this is a Catholic holiday. You know, I, I came out of Catholic... Like, they'll still... They'll, essentially... Uh, I remember he said one time about this this former Catholic came to his home and said, you know, I'm an ex-Catholic. Uh, I'm very much against the whole Christmas thing. It, you know, it, it was in my church and everything else. So Brian Dillinger is not ignorant of the fact that this is a Roman Catholic practice, yet he still knowingly defends it. Weird. For the big enemy of Rome that he supposedly is. You know, gotta wonder if he really is that big of an enemy of Rome. Or if he could just be one of them. You never know, but I wanted to show that. Uh, don't be deceived. Christmas is not liberty, okay? The context of Romans 14, 5 is dealing with, with holy days ordained by God, okay? Esteeming unto the Lord. It's not talking about just taking any kind of custom you want, just slapping Jesus Christ on it, and therefore that somehow makes it, oh, you have liberty, you're, you're doing it unto the Lord. If that's the case, then what's wrong with doing Halloween then? We can just add Jesus Christ to it, and therefore we're observing it, we, you know, we're esteeming it unto the Lord. See, it's a bunch of garbage. It's a bunch of uh, pagan Catholic mysticism creeping into the body of Christ, you know, practices that put that way, creeping into the lives of members of the body of Christ. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.